Another week, another Hollywood box office update. And this time, we have some fun news because there's one good Hollywood movie out there, Dune 2, doing pretty good. I read, I believe that it's approaching $500 million or it's already there. Either way, it looks like we probably will see Dune 3 or Dune Messiah. I'm not sure what they're going to go with there in that title. But it's probably coming. It's more than likely going to be a thing. And that'll be the first time I think the Messiah book has even gotten some kind of adaptation. But we're going to get into a movie that is touching lives, that is changing lives, helping people uh, grow and cringe. And that is, of course, uh, the box office disaster that is the American Society of Magical Negroes. That's a real title. That is the name of the Hollywood movie. <laughs> For some reason, somebody thought this was a, a good idea to do this movie. You know, I've tried to look into how much it costs to make this movie, and I can't find anything. I can't find anything for the budget on this movie. It's almost like they've tried to bury it. But here is what happened to this movie from Focus Features. It grossed a total of $1.25 million at 1,147 theaters in North America, with Friday pulling $520,000. Saturday made $470,000. And on Sunday, it made $260,000. Uh, the exit data was 50% male, 75% were aged 25 and older, 52% African-American, and 31% Caucasian, 10% Hispanic, 4% Asian. Uh, on this 52%, Fatal J, great channel, friend of the channel, he's on my Flashcast show on Saturdays usually, uh, he said that a lot of the people he know, he knows, were walking out of the movie, which is pretty funny. That's how bad this movie was. It's so bad, you can't even, I don't know if it's changed, but you can't even pirate this movie because no one cared enough to do it, and upload it, or go sit in a theater with a camera and watch it, which is rare. I, this is one of the few times I've ever seen that. <laughs> this movie is a huge disaster, and they deserve it. It's racist shit. People are getting sick of it. Uh, and I find it funny that this one is so bad, black people were walking out of the movie. Now, I don't have anything concrete on that, but I don't see why he would make that up. He found it pretty amusing, as did I. So, I wonder. I wonder. But, yeah, anyway, the satirical comedy that premiered at Sundance stars Justice Smith and David Allen Greer as a young man and his mentor at a secret society of magical black people dedicating their lives to a cause of the utmost importance, making white people feel at ease. It's an original idea, but the execution didn't resonate with critics. It's tracking 60% with audiences under, 55, under 50 verified ratings. Focus said it remains committed to supporting and discovering new diverse voices with a unique point of view. Well, they're going to want to try a little bit harder, especially when you go over to Rotten Tomatoes and see what people really think about this movie. Of course, all critics puts it at 30%, which is funny. That's only 50 reviews. Uh, if you go to top critics, which is what I like to do, let's take a look at all of them. Like This is kind of a cope that they do now by putting top critics and all critics in here. Uh, but the top critics hate this thing. They have it at 19%, which is funny. Now, here's what's really kind of a, a joke. Verified audience has the movie fresh now at 65%. 65%, but if you click all audience, it's 28%. People hate this movie. They think it's a joke, as most of the people in the world do, because the movie has only made a little more than a million dollars. Uh, the critics 
uh, the audience is not giving this a good review. Uh, if you go and you look at the verified reviews on here, uh, most of the people, most of the people think it's a piece of shit. But you see a lot of this. Interesting and strange. Three stars. Funny and enlightening. Funny and provocative take on real life perspective American issues. So I think you've got some shenanigans going on here. This is why I think the all audience is better because that one is a little more reflective. I don't think anybody likes this movie. I think once again, you just have some uh, bot activity coming in here and trying to save this movie. That's why it's jumped up to 65% which is recent. Like, when I checked this on Saturday, it was a lot lower. So, I think there's some shenanigans going on here, uh, but the facts remain the movie is a colossal failure. I just wish I knew what the budget was for this. I would love to know the budget for this movie. Uh, International numbers, I don't know if this even released internationally. I'm sure it did in some areas. I don't know what markets, but I would imagine that those numbers are not going to be anything spectacular. This movie... Uh, for sure lost money. It would have at least cost, given what we know about Hollywood bloat, this movie would have at least cost $100 million, I bet. Because it has a lot of special effects in it because it's trying to be like a wizard movie. So uh, this is a colossal failure, probably worse than we think it is because we don't know the numbers. But they'll come out eventually. They'll come out eventually, and then we'll get to find out and we'll get to laugh at this movie even harder when we do. But anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.